My last uh, book uh, is this one, Historias de Hadas para Adultos. It's like uh, fairy tales for adults. Could be the title in English. And uh, it's a book, um, it's composed of three um, uh, no novels, uh, novels, because they are short novels. And uh, they, in those novels, they're, they're, they, they, I mix uh, fantasy with science fiction elements. Uh, there is a little bit of um, Gothic, of uh, fairy tales, of course, love. It's, it's a mixture of, of subjects, um, and each each of the novel um, has a what I call a thesis. Uh, it's it's like um, a reading that goes uh, under the uh, the plot. You can you can read it. You know, it you can read it just like a like an adventure or. And you can have a like what I call a second lecture. With uh, you can go into that uh, under the skin of the story, and you know, and, and read a little more about what I'm talking about. My my second when I when I um, when I told you about the second reading is it's not political at all. Uh, it's more like a philosophical reading. Because, for instance, here uh, my the second one of the second readings of those of these novels are the uh, importance of fantasy and imagination for the human being. That's what I'm talking about. And each of these novels portray uh, some kind of uh, adventure or story that that deals with imagination and importance of fantasy for humankind. Uh, my second lecture, my second readings are not political. I, I try to avoid that because I. I hate pamphlets, and you know I, I don't like to be uh, classified as a political author. I'm not. I I want my uh, my books to be uh, I don't know like a great adventures that people can just enjoy the reading and have a good time. Uh, they, I I try them to think you know m more. Uh, about something more than the mere adventure of what I'm telling, but that's uh, that's something that depends on the uh, reader. I think that maybe there are two elements. Uh, one of them is the uh, the mixture of fantasy with uh, real life uh, characters. Um, that's one thing that people, uh, I mean, at least the feedback from readers tells me that. They, they like that mixture. It's, it's very. They tell me it's unique. They don't find that in, in in other authors. But I would say that work is uh, plays a very uh, important part because I, I really I plan the uh, every one of my novels you know in a very conscious way. I do a lot of research. I write and rewrite. Uh, I try to be as visual. Uh, I, I like the people to be able to visualize the book as a almost as a movie, and um, and and to go, and for them to be able to go under the skin of the characters, and um, that's important for me. I think the combination of those two, two things uh, might explain that. Uh, you know, I'm a woman who writes, who likes to write, and. Um, uh, I spend a lot of time uh, with myself, writing alone for hours and hours all day. Uh, but at night, usually I go and I go out to be with friends. I go to clubs. I dance a lot. I mean, people don't think that I might uh, like to, you know, go dancing. Or I, I like to dance a lot and to have fun with friends. I go to theaters. I, I love ballet. Uh, I go to opera, to classic, see classical music performances. Uh, I like to travel. I, I don't travel too much because I, I really, I, I'm afraid of flying. I have like a phobia for fly, <laughs> flying. But, uh, but you know, I, I do that once in a while. So basically, I, I, I am, you know, uh, just like anybody else. It's just like my profession is writing. Yeah, well, first I, I like to tell um, interesting stories, first of all, that's the most important thing for me. But the styling, I mean, the way in which I um, write those stories, 
uh, it has to be very carefully planned. Uh, I look in detail, I write and rewrite many times. Um, uh, for instance, I, for an adjective, I, I can be, I don't know, month reviewing and this yes and this not, and I don't like this, and until I find the exact adjective that I, 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 I need. And um, it, it's an endless process because uh, even if I spend, I don't know, two, three, four years writing something very carefully, you know, um, when I receive the, um, the uh, proofreading, I keep on changing things. So um, for me, it's like uh, uh, writing is like, um, how do you say it? Como bordar, coser. I can't remember the word in English. Well, when you take, you know, a piece of cloth and you very carefully, you know, those. Uh, uh, make those drawings you know with something like that it's a very uh, careful uh, process for me